Hello everyone. It's that time of the year when we start making our Christmas treats. So today we are going to be making kalkals. You need time for this one, but believe me, you will truly enjoy eating it once done. My recipe is slightly different as I use butter in it. The reason being that kalkals are generally hard when you eat it, but with the use of butter, it will not be like mini rocks or dough stoppers as one of my friends had called kalkals. You know who you are. <laughs> so let's get started. For the ingredients, you would need four egg yolks, 500 grams of plain flour, 300 grams semolina, 100 grams of butter, 200 grams of sugar, one tablespoon of vanilla essence, and enough coconut milk to knead the dough. So we add the flour, semolina, sugar, egg yolks and vanilla essence and we mix this by adding a little coconut milk at a time till we get the perfect dough and I also keep adding in little bits of the butter while kneading it. Now that we have a nice soft dough, we take little balls of the dough and we place it at the back of the fork and press it down and then we will roll it back but before doing this we must always keep the fork oiled so keep a little oil with you rub the oil on the back of the fork before putting the dough on and then we just roll it with our finger and we get the shapes of the kalkals so we continue doing this till we finish all the dough and then we shall fry the kalkals if you find the dough a little sticky, don't worry about it. The reason is we've added sugar in, so you will find the dough a little sticky, but don't worry. Uh, most of the recipes don't have sugar mixed in their dough. They normally uh, fry the kalkals and then they soak it in sugar syrup or they put powdered sugar over it. But I have done this to save me the time. Making the kalkals does take us some time. It's better you get your family members involved in it so that it goes a little faster. Once we have finished forming the kalkals, we shall put a pan on the stove with enough oil to deep fry the kalkals. This we shall keep on medium heat. Once the oil is nice and hot, we will fry a few at a time. The kalkals have to be golden brown. It should get a nice uh, brown and it should cook. So don't raise your heat too high because you don't want the inside of the kalkals to be raw. Keep stirring the kalkal from time to time. Don't let it get burnt. So you need to keep mixing it and until it cooks and it gets nice and brown. As you can see, the kalkals are nice and brown. It's got a beautiful color. So now we can take it out and we shall repeat this process till we are through with all the kalkals. I do hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please like, subscribe and leave your comments. I will try and put out some Christmas recipes for you guys. So you all can try it out and hopefully enjoy it during the season. I wish you and your family a very joyful season and happy holidays. Catch you back on my next video.